I do believe that it is crunch time. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Breakfast Stream. Welcome to uh, Thursday morning. And I think for m many folks, welcome to the last... Day before Animal Crossing? F 15 hours. 15 hours until Animal Crossing. <laughs> Sapphire uh, Becca, did Tom really? <laughs> like, really? <laughs> no, no, it's it's the emote. Oh, the pelican. <laughs> did he really? Pelican mouth. Tom's really loved pelican mouth. <laughs> he lately. has. Um, when we do our Saturday night recordings, that... That could That's continue. been the running joke for it's about been a running two weeks joke now. For a while, so. Mm. Anyway, morning to um to everybody, and uh, yeah, it's the the day has finally arrived. <laughs> a month ago, people were looking forward to Animal Crossing. A week ago, people were really looking forward to Animal Crossing, and uh, today, obviously, people are like super excited. So. Yeah, uh, it releases at midnight. I won't be playing in the midnight, but Mal will. Yeah. So, if you're if you're excited, we share in the excitement, and I'm looking forward to, uh, to playing it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And as a reminder, uh, Mal and I will be doing a stream on Animal Crossing tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern. So, Carly's gonna be watching because Carly's never played Animal Crossing. She's trying to decide if she wants she's to get it. She's trying to decide if she wants to get it. And she's like, I think I'm going to watch your stream because I don't know. Yeah. It's, you know, it's... It's probably not for everybody. Um, there's a lot of hype right now surrounding the game. Um, for a variety of different reasons. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not for everybody. Um, but it might be for you. And it might be for Carly. It is for me. Well, I mean you as in them but uh yeah it's it's fun and we'll show off the uh the beginnings of the game tomorrow oh man i i have got such a my left side is tight oh my too god mm -hmm. what am i doing at night the wrong thing the wrong thing oh ouch Colin said, did you see that Doom is releasing today to reduce crowds at GameStop tomorrow? That's a cool idea. That's a really good idea. I know that a lot of places have canceled. It may have, maybe it was just GameStop as a company. Maybe that's what they read. I'm not exactly sure. We're canceling midnight releases. Um, which, I mean, is, is a good idea, too. You basically don't want to have a, a jillion people in one place since that was, you know... The, the goal is to break up crowds. So, it's, I mean, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good move. I really... I slept on this really funny. Maybe I'm not drinking enough water. Maybe Randy's right. Because I, um... On... It was two, two or three days ago or something like that. I don't remember when. I drank a, a crap load of water. I mean, it actually, that's a really bad word to use when describing water. <laughs> Straight from the rhino. Um, I, I, I had a, a lot of water that day, but then yesterday specifically, I feel like I actually didn't have much. So maybe I should try and increase... Your amount of water? Yeah. It's probably smart. Yeah. A <laughs> pee load of water. I mean, that doesn't help either. <laughs> it's, uh... <laughs> There's probably better words. Anyway, eat your pop tarts. All right, yeah. Okay. Cause you tried something new. No, I didn't. Oh, didn't you only heat one? No, I heated both. Oh, thought you were gonna do that. No, I told you I heated both. It's all right. It's early. But I'll eat them if you want me to. Yeah, I do. Okay. Anonymous gifting five tier one subs. Thank you, milk bomb. Is that your throw the milk bomb? Launch. That's how you do it. That's. Mm, I didn't know that's how you did it. That's how you throw a bomb. 
and straight down at your own feet. If your milk, if your if your feet need calcium, <laughs> it's for your toes. Stephen eating pancakes. We have pancake mix. <laughs> Launch from Falcon Mouth. <laughs> Kitty Life says, toe bones need to be healthy. What? It's just, I'm, I'm literally eating this, and you're like, we have pancake mix. And I'm like, so? <laughs> you think I'm going to stop and go make pancakes to yeah, eat with go. my Pop-Tarts? make me pancakes. Forget my yogurt. Something tells me I need to stay up here. Now I want a glass of milk. We have milk. Go get me some. No. Please? Go get it yourself. We but have it milk. Could be we have milk breakfast stream if you go get it. We have milk. Uh-huh. We have nothing to use it with. Uh -huh. I know. I don't drink milk. I know. So it will go bad if you do not drink the milk. So go get me some. I've lost control of my stream. <laughs> Our stream. <laughs> Will you smell it first? Oh, someone just mentioned chocolate chip pancakes. That sounds really good. And I do have chocolate chips. Why is Muffin Man playing? I thought we unchecked this one. <laughs> Frosty, Steven, did you ever have control of your stream? Anyway, I'm gonna read some alerts while Steven's gone. The Mighty Blues uh, subscribed six months. That's two pluses. Thank you. Fanto1 subscribed for two months and said, yay. Steven, why is Muffin Man still checked? I can listen to whatever I want. You can listen to whatever you want. Thank you. That's a large glass. Oh my god. Yeah, well. Who when drinks you, this much milk at once? You now. Listen, you want to decide your milk input, your milk intake, and get it yourself. then get it yourself. <laughs> this is to the top. How much milk does a person drink? I don't know nothing about milk. I don't drink milk. I'm suddenly taken back to kindergarten. Well, <laughs> what? Welcome to kindergarten. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with enjoying a glass of milk. A, a 20 ounce glass of milk. In Wisconsin, and I think Chess said they do this in Indiana, we had milk breaks. Like they'd get, they'd count up who wanted milk and then they'd go get milk and they'd bring it back and you bought it for 20 cents and we'd have a milk break. And I think I've mentioned this on breakfast stream before. Like, so it's not lunch? No, it was at like 10. So it was just break? It was a break, yeah, in kindergarten. But it was... But it was just milk? Just milk, yeah. Wisconsin. I'm going to read the alerts now. 300 bits from King Carolina says, uh, not sure if I'm going to be awake enough at 6 a.m. to say this, but I'm throwing my hat into this discourse about toaster strudel slash Pop-Tarts. Pop-Tarts are better cold slash room temperature than heated. When it's warmed, it loses its flavor. I mean, I can't argue that because I have, I have not attempted such a thing. But, it could be true. <laughs> I got more Pop-Tarts to eat, so I can, like, try that. I like freezing Pop-Tarts. Mm. Some people... No. Some people don't like that. Oh, and, no. and when they hear it, they react mm -hmm. like Mallory. But some of them are quite good cold. I like putting the chocolate ones in the freezer. 
That being said, for for strawberry specifically, I like them heated. I don't know if I would like them better room temperature, but I'm not. I don't. I don't think I would, but I might. I, I got more to eat. I got more to try. Uh, I got a sub from Tuxedo Kitty. Thank you, Kitty. 13 months from Penguin Frog. 13 doesn't have the same ring to it. <laughs> Three more months. <laughs> Three more. <laughs> Getting close. Coffee. Seven months uh, resub from the Master Sword 97. One more day into Animal Crossing. Oh yeah, I got seven months. Awesome. Thank you, Master Sword. We were just talking about that. We were just talking about that. And then it happened. Like absolute magic. Speak it and it will happen. You should take a bit to chew. Maybe that'll help you get that glass of milk down. I have a refill for you when you're done. How much milk can a person drink before they start like not keeping it down? It's like a gallon, less than a gallon. Anyway, it's less than a gallon, so you'll be fine. Just wanna make sure you get your calcium. Six months from Link NGG. Double plus, thank you, Link. 11 months from Spark Strike. Morning, Stephen Amal. I found out that I unfortunately have to work tomorrow night, so I wanted to wish Stephen a happy early birthday. Oh, thank you. You know, tomorrow is um, not only the Animal Crossing stream, but tomorrow is also my birthday. And, uh,. We actually have a um, cake coffee. <laughs> and coffee. Oh, excuse me. Is there two? I almost always sneeze twice. No, just one. Um, yeah, my uh, my mom got me a like a little cupcake. It's not little. Well, a, a, a cupcake for two people. Yeah, is what it is really. So um. Yeah, and that'll be in the vlog that comes out today too, so people get a chance to to see that. It's been interesting with 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 everything going on, like uh, because my mom had to go to the to the store, and uh, she was like, "Do you want anything?" So we had her bring us a few things, and then like she dropped it she dropped it off. So like we do an exchange, and then that's it. <laughs> then we have to like wipe things down and wash our hands. And I opened the dining room windows, so. Steven's parents could see Kepi, and I held him out. Hey. It's a new world. Oh, wow. Oh, no. See, that? See, see, this is like, this is like for five. But when there's, when there's 16, that's like... Oh. Yeah. You got them all at once. Yeah, it's... Well, I'm you not... You can fit five milk bombs in your hand? I have big hands. Yeah, I know. I got really big hands. That was, uh, that was 16, uh, 16 gift subs, huge milk bomb, from Kazeumi. Kazeumi, thank you. And, uh, we got, we got a fair bit of alerts this morning, so it'll take us a bit to get down that way. But we, we heading down that way. Thomas says, you know what they say about large hands? Large gloves? Can't find them? Lots of milk? You know what they say about people with large hands? They... Drink lots of milk. Like a whole lot. You know what you could do right now? You could thank Thomas for the birthday card you opened last night. Just reminding you. Oh yeah, Thomas, thank you. I received a birthday card in the mail from Thomas. Thomas is really good about sending birthday cards on people's birthdays. You mean Thomas is considerate. <laughs> yes. Unlike every ahead. other person I've ever met. Um, yeah, he, uh, he, sent, he sent birthday cards. Holy crap! How, how do you throw 31 gift subs, Steven? Well, you know, if this is five and this is 16, I mean, 31 is kind of like... Like a bucket you yeah. dump? <laughs> it's like a gallon jug. <laughs> and the, the great thing about the great thing about the, um, the milk bombs now is that since Chaz has programmed them to actually explode, yeah. is that it's, it's literally an illustration, which is wonderful. It's actually wonderful. Holy crap. Uh, Spark Strike with the 31 gift subs. <laughs> so much milk. Spark Strike, thank you. And again, um, 
we've got quite a few alerts here, so it takes us a while to get to get down that way. Um, yeah, Thomas Thomas sent me a birthday card, and the birthday card is a lemon. Like it's I don't I don't mean a lemon as oh in oh my god. Jeez. <laughs> Also, I'll never actually finish this story about Thomas's <laughs> birthday card. Mr. Game Boy is now gifting 77 gift subs. Do you Five, have like a trebuchet? 16, 31. Yeah, I don't even know what you do with, with 77. A, a trebuchet? Is that what you said? Go! <laughs> That's it has to make that sound though. If the trebuchet doesn't go, then do, are you, did never you even? Known one to sound like that. Yeah, well, that's you've never heard a milk trebuchet, Mallory. That's a milk why. Alistair. Which is <laughs> milk. Kamehame milk. <laughs> Oh my god, uh, Mr. Game Boy, thank you. Um, I like all of these are all in a row. <laughs> so when I get down there, I'm just gonna I'm gonna be reading names for just a just just a sec. Sincerely appreciate all of the uh, the support this morning from everyone. Thank you. And then uh, also, so many people now have gift subs. So everyone enjoy enjoy your gift subs. Good God. Um, <laughs> Coffee Kid says, we're drowning in milk! <laughs> at the beginning, everyone's like, yay, milk! And then at some point, they're like, it's it's waist high! And Mr. Game Boy's like, learn to swim! <laughs> oh god, the milk! <laughs> oh god. It's funny because the, the Pikmin emote is actually quite appropriate here. <laughs> So anyway, Thomas, Thomas sent this card and it's in the shape of a lemon. It's a lemon, it's, it's, it's a lemon card. And I opened it up and it says, happy birthday to the lemon man. Coffee. And I read that to Mao and she's like, the lemon man? And I was like, is that, do I? Is this something I'm missing? Is that like a reference? She goes, I don't know what that means. And I was like, I don't either. But we appreciated it, but I'm like, I don't know if that's a reference or if Thomas just decided to just write that. So I'm assuming that, you know, Chaz got something too. So but Thomas said, can I show the card? You can show, you can show the card. Uh, Murmur? With 25 gift subs, more milk. <laughs> the, the tall people were still good in the milk pool. Everyone else is already treading water and Murmur's like, no, everyone must swim. All of you. <laughs> Sassy says, I've drowned. <laughs> oh my God, uh, Murmur, thank you. Don't know why there's so much milk this morning. There's an insane amount of milk. I think I think it's because I brought you actual milk. I think Thanks. it is. I think it's been it's it's inspired, folks. Maybe that's it. Um, Thomas, do you have the uh, do you have a picture of the card? There it is. He does. I think it's funny that Thomas is showing a picture of the card when I have the actual <laughs> real card downstairs. He's like, no, let's show a picture. <laughs> Which I mean. It's fine. It's just I could go get it. <laughs> I just don't understand the the lemon man thing. <laughs> Why am I lemon man? It's very cute. But again, I I just I just <laughs> assume that like since Chaz has a birthday very very close to mine, mm -hmm. that Chaz got like some other different fruit, and it said, "Oh, you're the you know whatever man." I was gonna say banana man, but it's not banana man because that's Thomas. Thomas is banana. <laughs> Thomas with a big, big, angry no. Lemon milk. Mm. 
Now there's an idea. No. I gotta get back oh, to reading these no. alerts. No, you know what happens when you add lemons to milk? No. No, I don't. I've never Ugh. done that. So how would I even know? I don't have any idea. It curdles. Does it? Yeah, isn't that how you make cheese? You put an acid into like whole milk and it makes like... Well, you don't throw ricotta. a whole lemon in it. You just give it a little lemon flavor. No, it's still gonna curdle. Immediately? Yeah. Huh. Hey, you learn something every day. Like when you when you don't have buttermilk, you can make fake buttermilk like that. All I'm hearing right now is, are the kids out of school? Do they need to be learning something right now? Tune into Breakfast Stream, where Mal will say, "What are you doing? No!" And in the process, <laughs> and in the process, we'll all learn something. Wonderful. This is a good. <laughs> Good education. 13 month resub from Calix who says, lucky number 13, who knows? Hope everyone has a good day today. I'm hoping for a good day too. Uh, we got 18 month resub from Randy B 213 Good morning, Stephen Amal. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm still trying to calm down from yesterday as we got hit by a 5.7 earthquake early in the morning. Oh, you took a hit, that's yeah. That's right, that's right. Hopefully watching breakfast stream the day after uh, will help ease some stress. Happy 18 months. Well, uh, first off, Happy, happy 18 months, happy one plus, and, uh... Glad you're okay. Glad you're okay. I saw some of the, um, destruction of that, and that was wild. It, especially, you know, anything that happens right now is going to be amplified because of, you know, the pandemic. So, like, the world is dealing with stuff, so any other thing that happens is gonna be like, are you serious right now? Like, yeah. we're dealing with this, and it's like, but also... Earth's shaken, so. Yeah. Um, while I was saying that, there was another milk bomb. Five gift subs from Danny X Six. Danny, thank you. And again, we're we're working our way we're working our way down to that. Uh, we had 500 bits from Mr. Gameboy18 who says, "Good morning, grandparents. Working from home because social distancing, so I get to watch you guys. Woo! Anyway, Mal, I am with you in the sitting weird in chairs gang. I can't just sit normally. Also, I love the painting. It looks amazing. Thank you. And the painting is done." Painting is done. The painting is done. <sighs> Saturday. Video will be released Saturday. Mal's going to um, uh, probably edit the video today. Yeah. And I'm going to be honest. And I'm taking tomorrow off. And Mal's taking tomorrow off. Good timing. It's almost like you planned that. <laughs> I get the painting done and edit it on Thursday. I could take off Friday. Animal Crossing comes out Friday. Okay. She needed an Animal Crossing to come a, out once a month. It's a, it's a smart. She's a smart woman. Um, yeah, the uh, the paintings the painting set. So uh, we'll get that video out by Saturday, so people can can see it. And I I I truly believe, having not been the one that recorded the video, uh, that both the time lapse and the full version will be out because yeah. there can't be that much talking in the full version. There isn't. There can't be. It's. I mean, for. The, for patrons of Mal, they, they have seen it, so they know what it is. But for everyone else, it's, you know, a lot of one thing, and I just can't imagine that there was a whole lot to talk about. No. So, I'm excited for people to see it, though. It's a it's a very sweet piece. Uh, Kaze Umi's gift subs, five gift subs. There was another milk bomb while you were talking. Was there? Mm-hmm. Did I miss that one? Yeah. I did. There was a milk bomb from Florelia. Five subs. Thank you, Florelia. And again, working our working our way through these. So uh, the five gift subs from Kazayumi went to Silent Companion, Potato Man 47, Human Brian, Mind Lag, and Spooky Boy River. Kazayumi, thank you. Uh, we got 18 months from Harm NTG, one plus. Thank you, Harm, appreciate it. Uh, 16 months from Arion661. Thank you for that. Two month resub from Item Crafting Live who says, Hi everyone. Hi Item Crafting. Hope your morning's going well. Or afternoon. I guess it really depends where you are. Four month resub from uh, DC Racer329. I have class online in a minute, so I have to miss breakfast stream this quarter. Oh, I'm sorry. At least there's the VOD. You can catch the VOD. And then you can you can hear the fact that this happened. <laughs> it's neat. It's like a time machine, so, sort of. 18 month resub from BC2014. One plus, thank you, Ben. 16 month resub from uh, Jaizak who says, T minus 16 minus one. 
hours until New Horizons releases. I think we all need that escape right about now. True. Absolutely true. I, uh... I've talked about it a little bit, but I'm looking forward to playing a game for leisure again. I haven't done that in a bit. A bit. And it's it's really exciting to me to, to have something that I'll be able to play at night for just a little bit. So. And it's not like I haven't played games for leisure, but the amount of games that I've played for leisure is minimal, and certainly a game that's been, like, recurring... So, Smash is actually the best example, Toddly says. Smash is something that I have continually played and picked up and played when I have time because it takes no time to do. Um, and now Smash will be, I guess not necessarily replaced, but it'll share a space with, uh, with Animal Crossing. <laughs> Got 18 on 3 sub from Coffee Cats, 1 plus. Animal Crossing hype! Lots of folks excited to, uh, to, to live the island life. Uh, 500 bits from Mr. Game Boy says, Honk, you say it's only 15 hours to Animal Crossing, but I saw in chat that some people already have it in other countries. I'm super jealous. I've seen that. I've seen that some people, uh, some people have been playing it. There was a, a stream on Twitch, actually, as I went live. I was like, oh, someone's got that game. I don't know if some people got it early. Um, or if, like, Nintendo sent it out. They didn't send me one. <laughs> That's for sure. I didn't ask, but normally the way it works with Nintendo is that they'll send out emails and be like, hey, do you want to play this? And then I go, yes. Because um, they did that with they did that with Smash. They did that with uh, Super Mario Maker. Maybe they just, they feel that Animal Crossing has plenty of speed and they don't need assistance with it, in which case... I can understand that, because people are very excited for it. Uh, again, 9 to month resub from Andrew, Andrew in the Kitchen. Just gave birth to my Twitch baby. Hello, everyone. Here today under some sad circumstances. My teaching placement was suddenly suspended on Tuesday. I had to move out of the brand new maths block on the same day we moved in, which was fun, so yeah. I'm sorry hmm. to hear that. Um, certainly not the best circumstances for you to be here, but I'm so glad you're here, and I hope that things look up as, as quickly as they possibly can. Uh, we got a thousand bits from Queen's Thief who says, uh, may not be able to catch the stream tomorrow, so happy early birthday, Steven. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. And, um, you know, if, if, if folks aren't able to make the stream tomorrow, uh, it's going to be a super casual stream, and it will be posted on YouTube on Sunday. Um, it'll be out, basically, immediately. And that's because shortly thereafter we'll be working on making some, um, Steven and Friends content for Animal Crossing, which mm -hmm. would be enjoyable. We got a two-month resub from Toddly343 who says, Oh boy! Thank you, Toddly. Uh, an anonymous gifter with the Milk Bomb. Five subs to uh, Juliet27, Celestial Dragon Maiden, Andromeda369, Sonic Awesome, and Tans29. Thank you, an anonymous gifter. Appreciate it. It's good dance music. 100 bits from Hylian Hero 7 Thank you. We got a sub from Corthal McAfee. Appreciate that. 15 month resub from Carlos. Insane, Carlos. Insane in the rain. Thank you, Carlos. Uh, we got 18 month resub from Mr. Incredible Noob Lord. The Muffin Man will consume us all. I'm leaving. I'm leaving it checked. I, that's a good song to hear occasionally. Everyone's got different opinions about the Muffin Man and children's music in general. I think hearing it every once in a while is it's good. This is a great song. I'm enjoying it. I am too. Bomba, bomba posse and pray. I don't know what that means. <laughs> because, Together is... But someone here absolutely does. I'm just waiting for someone... Bomb forever. Oh my goodness, look at the beans. Alright folks, you can have the beans. Beans. Patreon.com slash Bean. Or, uh... <laughs> Put Bean in Put Bean in Pelican Mouth. mouth. <laughs> God. <laughs> Patreon.com slash Stephen George or Malmix. We appreciate the support uh, over there. And uh, the names of the producers are on the screen now. <laughs> Good God. 16-month reset from Joshua F36, who says 16. 
Thank you, Josh. Uh, 300 bits from Shy, who says, Breakfast stream, Mal makes additions, Mal makes pancakes, and other assorted breakfast items. Mal makes breakfast while Steven gives her lots and lots of milk, to which she says, please, no. Stop, hu stop, humans stop. don't. <laughs> humans don't actually eat this much milk. Bomba de leche! Ah, look at that. Leche is one of the uh, one of the words I know. <laughs> like even without the context, you I've, have forgotten all your high school Spanish. I have. I yes, yes, I have. Uh, el hamburger con queso es en mi pantalones. Three hundred bits from <laughs> three Florelia. Leche. Three, <laughs> three leche. Uh, Steven, why are you getting milk at nine in the morning? Because I've lost control of my stream. <laughs> Stew? <laughs> also, there's an entire generation of people that grew up with that meme. Um, is it? A, I guess you could still call it a meme of, of Stew making chocolate pudding. And like they haven't even seen Rugrats. And I just think that that's great. And I really want to go back and watch Rugrats. Mal and I actually had a conversation about this exact thing like two nights ago. Exact thing, the Stew meme. And I told Mal, I was like... I realize that we can't go back and watch Rugrats because part of it is nostalgia and Mao has no nostalgia for the show because she's she never watched it. She didn't have cable. And I'm like, it really is unfortunate that we won't like rewatch Rugrats as a yeah. result. Cause I, I between like Rugrats and Rocco, I feel like Rocco is probably more palatable as an adult than Rugrats is. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Rugrats is actually really great as an adult. Rocco was. Rocco, Rocco was actually very enjoyable, so. No thanks, Uncle Stu. I'm not hungry anymore. Ah! Uh, we got a sub from uh, Crimson Main 76 Thank you, Crimson. 300 bits from Jam, uh, who says, Greetings, everyone. I'm so happy to end the 1,000-pound wait, which has been completing uh, taxes for my deceased father's estate. I feel like I can breathe. I can turn out and celebrate. If only the timing of this relief was better. It's been a very long last month or so, and I'm looking forward to better ones, hopefully. Jam, Good job on getting that done. Yeah, I... That has to be... That... I feel like that would be... awful. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, I, I think it's it feels weird saying congratulations to something about that, but I, I feel like it's still at least semi-appropriate, so I'll say congratulations to you. Um, Getting through that must be extremely rough for a whole variety of reasons, and uh, I'm glad that you've gotten through it. Because, um, I mean, that would that would be that'd be extremely difficult. I hope that you I hope that you take a day or something for yourself too. Like I don't know, like have a a a, a meal or something. Some way some way to. Some way to celebrate, like you said, basically. I had a nice sandwich. Well, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that. There, Honestly, there there are some sandwiches that I would also use as a celebratory meal. Yeah. The, uh, the Montauk. Yeah, that's The Montauk sandwich. at Kaminsky's Deli. Mm. Good God. Such a great sandwich. Anyway, 1,600 bits from Troop Captain 97 who says, just wanted to share the news that my big sister had her first baby recently, and now I'm an uncle. Congratulations. Congratulations to Uncle Captain 97. <laughs> uncle Uncle Troop Captain. Troop Captain, congrats. And uh, pass, along, pass along the news to your big sister <laughs> that the internet grandparents and all of the grandchildren uh, wish, wish, uh, wish her well. <laughs> It will confuse her to no, to no end, and I love that. I am all for confusing people that exist outside of this space. We've got 18 months from Phantom SVT. Woo, time for one plus. Some good news. I have a phone interview scheduled for tomorrow afternoon with one of the staff scientists at the company at which I really want to work. I'm, hope, I'm hoping it all goes well, and I move to the next round. Good Fuck. vibes. Good vibes to you, Phantom. Um... That sounds like it would be a really good position, too. Uh, so, I wish you luck. I hope that everything works out. We've, again, and we've talked about this a lot lately, but, you know, we've got a lot of people that 
they 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 announce interviews here, and uh, interviews tend to go well. So we'll we'll keep our fingers crossed. Uh, eight month resub from uh, YOLP, almost to that Twitch baby already. Wow, one more month. Three hundred bits from uh, Concept of Van. I have a phone interview mo uh, today and one on Monday. Please share some of that breakfast stream interview <laughs> magic. I was just talking about it. Good luck. Good luck. Good vibes, Concept of Van. We we've got so many good vibes here, uh, and I mean people people need good vibes more than ever. Not only for interviews, but just like <laughs> day to day life. So I'm I'm hoping that um, you know we can we can share some of that. And two, uh, not back to back, I guess one today and then one Monday, but pretty close together. Uh, we got 800 bits from Crimson Main 76. No message, just uh, just cheering. Crimson, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, 500 bits from Phantom SVT says, "Happy early birthday, Steven. Thank you, thank you. It's uh, it's a, it's weird. I mean, the older you get, the less you think about your birthday. I'm I'm sure that at some point in the near future, I'm gonna probably forget how old." I even am. Um, I think that's just kind of inevitable. Yeah, um, I forget that for myself. Yeah, it's all. It's always really hard when you when you first have your birthday. Mm -hmm. It's like whenever the new year first passes and you're writing the date and you keep getting the the year wrong. It's like that because it's like, oh, how how old am I? Or like, oh wait, I'm a little older now. But um, I I <laughs> if it says Stephen is a thousand, I feel like I'm a thousand. Yeah. And there's a lot of times oh, I think... Soul Master, please, you're only 25. No. <laughs> you're 25 forever, Mel. <laughs> also, the, the, the fun thing about whenever uh, my, my birthday happens is that for a brief two-week period, Mal and, I, Mal and I are the same age. Aha! Look at that. And then... And then I go back to being married to an older woman. <laughs> I remember... <laughs> I think it was my second or third year teaching. A student was like, you're like, whatever. And they they put down an age or something. And I had to think, I was like, wait. I was like, no, I was like, I'm younger than that. And they were like, why'd you have to think about it? And I was like, oh, well, once you get to be, I was probably 25 at the time. I was like, I don't know, you gotta think about it. <laughs> it's like, no one asks you after you turn 18. Well, also, I mean, there's a part, there's a part of there's a part of childhood that, I mean, you are so looking forward to your birthday. I mean, everyone's also always asking you, like, how old are you? And yeah, you're like, oh, I didn't even think seven. about that, but yeah, yeah that, that happens all the time. You have to constantly be familiar with how old you are. Yeah. And when you get older, that the only thing that matters is, do you look under 40? Yeah. When they, when they card you for alcohol, and that's it. Otherwise, it just doesn't matter. But yeah, I didn't think about that. When you're a kid, people are like, well, how old are you now? Mm -hmm. And you're like, I'm this many. And they're like, oh, at that age, you should probably be telling me a number, <laughs> not holding up fingers. And you're like, oh, sorry. I, I meant this three times. I'm 30. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't really, didn't even really consider that. But yeah, it's a good... I was talking more about the fact that, like, you're always looking forward to yeah. things, you know what I mean? Because you're like, oh my goodness, my birthday is in four weeks. Which, like, for me, I'm like, what? That, I'm just, I will remember it's my birthday the day before. Like, today, I'm like, oh, okay, tomorrow's my birthday, okay. And, like, the amount of care that I have is, like, as minimal as possible. It's like, it means nothing. <laughs> just <laughs> to have that childlike excitement back would be thrilling, but... I guess there's a certain point that you just, you lose it. Ryan B06 says, I'm turning 44 on Sunday and I still get carded for alcohol. That's a compliment. Yep. It's a compliment. Because, uh, I mean, again, the age that the age that people are supposed to look for is, is 40. So the minute that you pass uh, 40 and you keep getting carded, it's not a bad thing at all. I remember, uh, I think it might have been the last primary, not this past one, but the one before, mm -hmm. when we went to vote, the lady was like, oh, is this your first election to Steven? She's and, done that for oh, yeah, every, every time I'm there. She's always working the polls where we go, and she's like, oh, is this she, your first election? She's asked me every time. It's been years. Is this your first election? I'm like, no. <laughs> 
I don't have the heart to be like, and you told me like, this before. And she's like, my grandson is your height. <laughs> he's playing, he's playing basketball. Do you play basketball? She's so sweet. I love her. Uh, Paul said, um, I, s I spent three of my last six birthdays in Oklahoma, so that's been my most reliable birthday indicator. <laughs> That's a, that's a very Paul answer. Yeah. Spending so much time in Oklahoma. Uh, I, I gotta keep reading these things. Uh, 300 bits from uh, JSD Mon Nintendo. Um, I hope this is how I... Coffee? I've never sent bits before, but it's my birthday. Oh, well, happy, happy birthday. birthday! And uh, breakfast stream won't occur on my birthday again for another four years. As your birthday neighbor, I think this is the right way to celebrate with the superior beverage. The impending sight of uh, Tanuki debt brings me joy this week. Can't wait. <laughs> to everyone who will soon be in debt in Animal Crossing. <laughs> Cheers. We're gonna owe a raccoon a ton of money. <laughs> but uh, seriously, happy birthday. That's uh, that's wonderful. You share a back-to-back -back birthday with me. Um, and there, there's so many other people's birthdays in March. Yeah. Um, Austin just had a birthday. Uh -huh. Chaz's birthday is very close to mine. Mm -hmm. Nick's birthday is right after that. Um, there's a lot of birthdays. And then, of course, when we get into April... Mine so you're, and you Carly's and, and my and, mom's and Haley and Emil and... You skipped Dan, who literally, Dan. <laughs> literally shares your birthday. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway. Let's keep going. Uh... Oh, we're finally getting all those all the gift subs. Finally getting all the gift subs. All right, so 16 subs from Kazayumi went to uh, Ankan 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 Jesper, the masked creator Tony ZX15, Mr. Dummy, Neo Umbra, Lord Mathapon, Hugh1290, Nightcall914, Sapurin, Elemental Panda20, MCL Blue, Afro Rat, Wario Barker, Gucci Cheese Its, <laughs> Gucci Brand Cheese Its. Good user. I, I always love reading the lists of gift sub names, and then there'll be one or two in there. I'm like, that's a good one. That's a good one. You should feel proud for that. Uh, Gucci Cheese It's Pix Pixieisms and Simple Recordings. Kazayumi, thank you so much. Appreciate the gift subs. And then 31 gift subs from Spark Strike 13. Those went to Luminescent Blue, uh, Torpid Jonah, Weren't Zero, Thursday is Seven, Eclapricious. Oh, that's the name. Uh, Young South, Wizard King 6677, Hermetic Dan Dantalion, Algroll, Raven Shepherd, Flame Emblem, uh, Sacaphony, Temp Kitsempt, Three Odd Socks, Crispy 31, uh, Katagi 258, Trill Girl, Simmer 44, Stumi Hurt, Anna, U Anna Usagi 22. Is Usagi the name of um, Sailor Moon? Sailor Moon? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the True Gavner. Uh, Silver Shine Star, Murky Space, City Cat 900, uh, Shio, Shio Nasen, Mandy Nicole, Crotton 55, Cindy Stu, Eosar, Gigi Sora, and Yeti U. There were a lot of difficult names in that. Yeah, there were. It almost felt like some of those names were just Pig Latin to throw me off. It was, it was quite difficult. Spark Strike, thank you so much. Sincerely appreciate uh, the support this morning. Uh, we had an 18-month resub from Hayariyu, who says, Happy early birthday, Grandpa. Well, thank you, and uh, congrats on one plus. Uh, Mr. Gameboy18 gifted the uh, 77 subs, and uh, Chaz's alert system broke it out into 56 and 21. <laughs> so the first 56, Nemo from the Hills, Shadow Why Wind, uh, Rop Cafes, Prismatic Phantasma, Super Tigress, Patrick J. Taylor, Pokemon Thespian, Mr. Hobo Robo, Phantom RC, Shane Leith, Steinyamite, Nick Tendo, uh, Shannon Scribbles, Richard Ashby, Ubhai, Retro Remedies, Shane Ork, Overnight Octurn, Phantom Fire 360, Rorge, Rorge Ragin' Wolf, Statman 7, The Veal, Kevorn, Maggie, Mag, Maggie, Maggie, Maggie DC, Pro, Pro Professor Oakenshield. Camel casing would have helped there a lot. Uh, anime Musician 52295. Alta Runai. Uh, Polar Ambience. Anai Passerby. 
Jacob Feinberg, Ya Boy Kevin01, J2K, Gamecore, Double R55, Zorin Design, Acute Newt, Cybersnake2222, Taylor is Nowhere, Dungeon, uh, Stitchy Strike, Zanjul56, Legendary Heatran, Blue Toad64, Solipstick Kitty, Zephyr Breeze, Will Quill, Jen Marie Gaming, Spider Potato13, Varen, Featuring Moots, uh, Neon Fart, that's a great one, I like that one a lot, uh, Simple to the Point, Neon Farts, Cad Hunter, <laughs> Ace AG, Souse is 1904, Gokon1011, Robbie C33, that was the first 56, the other 21, 50 Ruins, uh, Ramad, Rama JX, Melichu, Pat Duddy79, Dove Soap325, uh, Dragu, XX Oberon X, Starwebs1, K Soriano, Zerk Nurk, uh, SJ Wara Sculpt, Joker795, Dr. Sprinkles, I like that one too, Ruri Azula Haven, uh, Neptune Lee Can, Tune like, tune like Rockerman Forever, uh, Awesome Absol 380, Decisive Pumpkin 11, Isabel Druck, Wicked Fanzel, and Klimby. I got there. I got there. And also, notice everyone that I breathed. I didn't try to do all 77 at once. I just figured in the mornings there's no way. I, I, feel, I feel like I'll pass out. It's best not to try, Mr. Gameboy18. Thank you so much. Sincerely appreciate uh, all the support that you've given the channel. Um, but especially, you know, this morning, that's so much. And then between you and everyone else, there's been so many gift subs this morning. So, so many people have subs going into tomorrow's stream for mm -hmm. Animal Crossing, which is really fun. You got 300 bits from Toddly343. He says, morning, grandparents. I'm usually a VOD boy, so it's good to be here live. Tomorrow cannot come quick enough. I look forward to hiding away from the world, playing Animal Crossing, and watching Animal Crossing, <laughs> probably simultaneously. Uh, one of the things I've talked about that I'm excited for is that Animal Crossing... Uh, generally acknowledges your birthday, and I'm really excited to see if it is your birthday. On um... well, yeah, because it's it's when we start the game. Are they going to acknowledge my birthday at the beginning of the game? I don't know. Is like at the checkout counter when they're like, "We're gonna book you for this island vacation," are they gonna be like, "Oh, it's your birthday"? We've upgraded your seat. Like I don't know, you know. 5% off my debt? I mean, hey, that would be great. I would take that. What? Wouldn't it be great if there's just this little Easter egg and Tom Nook's like, oh, we feel we feel bad about making you pay pay a mortgage, so you just, it's you, it's on the house because it's your birthday or something. And then everyone will be like, speedrunners will be like, you have to set the system clock to, you know, your birthday. Or put in your birthday as the day you're starting. Oh yeah, I don't know how they do that. Is is the switch have your birthday in it or no? I don't think you're so. Ni well, a Nintendo Switch account might, but I don't know. more debt because it's your birthday. Oh God, <laughs> happy birthday! You paid double. <laughs> that would be awful. Coffee. That would be terrible. Good morning, Noah. Good morning, no. Oh, I had a little piece of Pop Tart. I see that Pad. you ate it. It's fine. Uh, Murmurs, 25 gift subs. Went to McLovin Pandaface, Masa uh, Masami, Michael JW, Mr. Boy, Magmavire, Mega Skeptile 5, uh, Mahiki, Candy is awesome. Sidechar, Flufferpen, Laurels, Goopinator 11, Celtic Fires, Glacial Heart, Rune Hopper, Dr. Walrus. I like that one. Uh, Yora, Yora Eater. Thanks for the time. Silverwolf58, Justin NTB, Mulligan PhD, Nice98, Pixar113, Poke Emblem7, and Hourglass Link. Murmur, thank you so much for the uh, for the gift subs this morning. Sincerely appreciate it. Uh, we got eight month resub from Destiny Light 2, who says eight months! Uh, 777 bits from Mr. Gameboy18, who says, so I sent in 77 gift subs because now I have gifted 777 gift subs. Overall, slowly gifting to get to the next gift sub badge of 1,000. Holy crap. Again, <laughs> as I said just, you know, a few minutes ago, uh, thank you all, or thank you so, well, thank all of you for the support, but Mr. Gateway, thank you specifically uh, so much for the support that you've given us here on Twitch. We sincerely appreciate it. And also, I think it's fun that uh, you've hit 777 
and you used 777 <laughs> to announce that you hit 777. We don't have a 77 alert. No. Maybe we should, there should be like a, like a thing. Like a, what do they call those when it does the thing? When you pull the lever. Help me. What's it called? It's called casino money. Slots, <laughs> thank you. Intelligent one, thank you. I just, I saw Chaz wrote casino money. I was like, it's called casino money. What's, what is, that's not You could not just it. have the beginning of that song play and it could. Gotta give me some of that. Well, I was thinking that boom, boom, boom. Or just me, or just at 777, it's just my voice clip going, casino money. It's not a bad idea. Not, not a terrible idea. It'd also be very, very on brand to use the song literally that I made. Hey Siri. <laughs> remind me at 11 p.m. to look into the casino, casino money, money alert. alert. Okay, your reminder is set for tonight. My apologies to everyone else who has a similar voice to mine and now they're they also have a reminder to look into the alert. Everyone's like 11 p.m. 11 p.m. because um, part of today is going to be recording more Bioshock, mm -hmm. and I'm like, at 11 by 11 p.m. I should be done recording that, and then I'll work on figuring out that. At if 11 not, PM. you'll have the alert up in the morning, and you can do it right away in the morning. Yeah, the reminder. Yeah. Yeah. Don't say alert, because that's what we're talking about, is alert. The reminder on your phone for the alert. You'll wake up Friday morning and see the reminder. Yeah. Oh, also, as a uh, this is a good chance to announce, because Intelligent One asks, wait, more Bioshock? You've started? Uh, Bioshock is back on um, Saturday. There's DLC. There's DLC. The way it works is um, the, it's called Burial at Sea, and it's divided into two parts, part one and part two. And I've already recorded part one. I did that on t Tuesday? Tuesday, I think. Yeah. So I did part one, and then today I'm going to be doing part two. Um, if I get through all of it, I think I, I think I can get through all of it. Um, I'll probably just take a nice hearty break in between, like in the middle. But uh, yeah, it's great. It's really great. It's really great. It's, it's wild, man. No spoilers, but it's real good. Um, and I say it at the very, on the first episode, like you should really, really, probably for reals experience Bioshock 1 before you watch the DLC. It's not super required. Episode 2, like the second part of the DLC, maybe it is, I don't know. It's not super, super required from what I've seen in episode 1, but like it would make the experience way better. If you know Bioshock if, 1. If you know Bioshock 1. Because the first episode is 45 minutes because I soak in so much. I'm like, so just get ready for that. Uh, the, the first episode specifically is, is long because I'm like, I gotta, I gotta take in all this lore. Um, as Jam says, knowing the setting definitely helps. 45 minutes, Chaz is not happy. Chaz can get over it. The entire first DLC is done, Chaz. It's done. 100 bits from uh, Jaboka. Jaboka, thank you. Uh, five gift subs from Danny X6. They went to Light Shadow 751. Lovely How. Uh, Black Celix. Raf Sta. And HJ Dika. I think I got those right. Danny, thank you. 300 bits from Shy, who says Mallory asserting her dominance by teabagging on stream. I'll leave now. <laughs> You said it, not me. <laughs> we got five month three sub from Comic Queen 96. Happy early birthday, Steven. Appreciate it. So many early birthday wishes. Case in point, an 18 month three sub from uh, Laika on uh, 08 who says, Happy early birthday, Steven. <laughs> I appreciate it. I'm glad that I have a little, um, little cupcake to eat tomorrow. That's gonna be exciting. Yeah. Because I didn't think there was gonna be anything. I was just gonna have like a little chocolate bar or something, but. I was hey, gonna try to... and make a mug cake, but we don't have any eggs. We are going grocery shopping today. Yeah. Not that you need to make a mug cake now, because we have a cupcake. Yeah. But um, it's it's the uh, we went grocery shopping one week ago. Yeah. And obviously a whole lot changed in a week. So, yeah. um, 
It's gonna be interesting. Yeah. We're obviously gonna be careful, uh, keep our distance, but um, haven't done that yet, so we'll <laughs> we'll see what happens. Yeah. I think we're also um, I think we're also gonna try and get lunch at like a drive-through or something. Yeah, support our local stores a little bit. That and then also to I think that that helps establish a sense of normalcy too. Yeah. Like we haven't been out of the house in a week. Yeah. Because the last time we were out was Thursday. Was it? Was that the day we went to AC Moore and got the paint? Yeah, cuz yeah, that was cause the last, last time Thursday we were out of the house. last Thursday we did lunch bunch uh -huh. at the Taco Bell that opened. Yeah. Bad timing for that Taco Bell to open. Yeah. Um and then we went to AC Moore to get those paints. That was a week ago, and that I think that was the last time we went out of the house. Yeah. We have not left the house in one week. So today's the day. We're going to go pick up some stuff and um, see what the world looks like out there. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it, there's. I love cooking at home, but... Thomas, we've walked out the house. Yeah, we, we have haven't gone outside. We have anywhere. We have gone outside. Or we saw your parents basically through class yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, we've taken walks. Um, yesterday I filled up the bird feeder and went and looked at the pond because I've been watching a bunch of golfers hit golf balls straight into the pond. And then they, and then five minutes later they pull up with their golf carts and get out and they're like, huh, guess I'm not going in there, it might be gators. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, I saw some people talking about it. All of the restaurants in South Carolina are closed. For Eden. For Eden. Mm -hmm. Like, that was a government... The governor. Go yeah, gov sorry. Governor mandated thing. Mm -hmm. So you can't go eat inside a restaurant anywhere in South Carolina. But um, takeout is available. Uh, drive through is available. Delivery is available. So that's what I think we're going to do because... You know, usually at least like one time a week we eat out. Yeah. And actually today would be the day. Yeah. Because Thursday for lunch we would be eating with our friends. So interesting to see everyone like here as well, here as well, here as well. It's such, it's, it's weird. It's weird. And, and it's, it's going to be weirder at the start as everyone adjusts to this. But I mean, also there is something that. You know, getting takeout, getting delivery, getting a uh, drive through whatever, that helps establish some sense of normalcy. Not being able to go into a restaurant, obviously, is like, yee. But just the idea that you can get something out does help a little bit because it's like, okay. It's not that everything in the world is, is shut down. It's not that everything in the world is closed. And also, you get to help local businesses doing things that way, too. So, Yeah. Yeah. And as Thomas says, remember to tip well. Yeah, if you're if you're doing, um, especially if you're, you're getting delivery, yeah, delivery uh -huh. or uh, Grubhub or DoorDash or any of that stuff. <clears throat> there are, I mean, there's people who are out there making these deliveries. Um, it's a tough time for everybody, so tip well. Uh, I get 18 month resub from Brondo93. No message, but congrats on one plus. Florelia's five gift subs went to Laserface13, Rena Hirai, uh, Laughing Soul. Ray Lindus and Lady Maxwell for Florelia. Thank you. Appreciate that. Get 100 bits from Prince7. And then actually another 100 bits from Prince7. Thank you, Prince. Appreciate that. Three month resub from Vest Digital Media. Three months. Wow. Happy to support when I can. Stay safe out there, grandparents. Will do. You too. Did you finish the milk? Yeah. Be people were saying I may have given her too much milk, <laughs> but she Wisconsin ate it. Wisconsin ate? Eight, eight, it would be eight if I put a little lemon in it, as we learned earlier, because this is an educational show. Shout out to all the teachers who have to figure out how to suddenly teach online. Shout out to all the teachers anyway for being amazing individuals who yeah. do the hardest job in the world. But also, who were then thrown into the fire of like, oh, by the way, learn to teach online immediately. Yeah. I don't know what day was the last day with students in our county, but teachers were told Sunday that if you have no cases in your county, you get like one day. Yeah. 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 And I'm, and we already had a case in our county by then, so I don't even know if they had school Monday. Yeah. But. Yeah, it's just, you know, 
there it's Mal and I were talking about this mm -hmm. last night I think the, the fact that you know there was no planning it was it was not like there was any sort of like plan in place for this there's no plan in yeah. place for this so moving to online education is teachers literally figuring this out overnight yeah and that's crazy yeah you know like there it's it's amazing and it, it speaks to the ingenuity and intelligence of uh, our educators yeah mm -hmm. it really does so like, um we have <clears throat> a large portion of our students that need served by stuff like breakfast and lunch and don't have technology at home and e-learning is basically impossible for a lot of our students in our county and they had um laptops for high schoolers mm -hmm. um and i think that's what they moved to after i left and they had tablets with keyboards mm -hmm. that weren't ipads for middle schoolers then they had iPads for grades three, four, and five. And parents could go pick them up from the school. They have basically drive-through breakfast and lunch for students. So the parents can drive through and get breakfast and lunch for kids. And they have internet and they've pushed, I think they've put routers out in the parking lot so people can park, stay in their cars isolated and work on schoolwork with internet. So, and the school buses have Wi-Fi. I know we talked about that Tuesday. Chris Crunch Redfield said Comcast is doing a free 60 days of internet if you call right now. Uh, I'm being serious about that. So I I've heard that with some ISPs. I know ours <clears throat> is doing discounted. We have a local ISP. I mean, and I know they're doing that too. Let's. I mean, internet is a utility. Mm -hmm. Like in the in the age that we live in, you need internet. You need internet. You need internet like you need electric, like you need water. It is just a fact of life. Um, and honestly, the fact that the, that Comcast will be giving internet out for free is, is great, but also, especially in a time like this, like, yeah, that should be happening. There's some um, uh, water companies, electric companies, are not turning off the utility if you... Well, I can't speak for everywhere, because I don't think it's a government-level thing, but... In our county. In our county, mm -hmm. I know that, you know, if someone can't pay their bill for electric or water or whatever, they are not turning off the service. Um... They also asked, um, our governor asked our state court to not do any trials for evictions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, it's it's only, it's like destruction of property or something. Something like Ex that. Extreme cases. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, it's basically like time is standing still. But also, we, we have to do that. We have to put a pause mm -hmm. on those sorts of things because people are out of work. There's, it's like, what, 20% of the country yeah. is experiencing either out of work completely or, or lower hours. I can't so, you know. Anyway, that was all stemmed from the fact that Comcast is apparently doing free internet. But again, everything's got to, like, stand still right now because the, the country has to support each other. Yeah. As, as, best, as best as possible. Uh, we have got a three-month resub from uh, Courtney D. Smith. Because of the nature of my job, I need to be in the office. I have been the only one here all week, and I am starting to get lonely. Thanks for keeping me company today. No problem. No problem. I, uh, I can't imagine. Mm -hmm. And actually, we had, uh, I, I, now I can't remember exactly who it was. We had someone on Tuesday who was actually in the, the same boat. They're going into their office, and they're the only one in the office. Um, to which I say, thank you for continuing your work, and I'm, I'm sorry that, that things are going to get lonely. Be, I mean, the, people are going to experience that at home, too. Mm -hmm. You know, the isolation of being inside. Um, it's one of the reasons why I am thankful that we're still doing Breakfast Stream is that we can offer some level of interaction with people. Coffee. Just being around people, even in a chat, is so helpful. Yeah. And because of the scale of this thing, it's nice to know that no matter where you are in the entire world, everyone is dealing with this. And that brings the entire world together in a way that's just really... You don't see that ever, you know? To know that whatever you're going through, any other person you talk to is going through it too. It doesn't matter where they live. Yeah. And that's that's wild. Uh, we got 300 bits from uh, Ping Budapong. Come here, buddy. Hey, bud. You coming up? 
Hi, sweetheart. Hey, pal. Pop tart for Kippy? You don't want that. That's strawberry. It doesn't have any meat in it. <laughs> Kepler's so picky. Kepler's he, very he, sensitive, like. He is pretty picky. Most human foods, Kep is like, no. You gonna. Sniff your leg? Sit. That's my leg. Pop tart? I'll let you sniff it. Don't you lick it? <laughs> Please don't lick it. Oh. He's just sniffing. <laughs> He's, He's sniffing well, a lot. Okay. He didn't lick it. No. Okay. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Strawberry meat. <laughs> If I had one of those toaster scrambles we were talking about a week ago. <laughs> no, it says he's a gourmet cat. Kepler does not like when we cook. Yeah, it's sad. Yeah. It's so sad. Like, Sagan and, Sagan and Kepler were so opposite. Yeah. When when we cooked, we had to put a stool. One of our, yeah, for the bar. We put one of our bar stools in the kitchen, and mm -hmm. we called it the helper stool because Sagan wanted to sit there when so he could so he could sniff everything that and went through the kitchen. And watch what we did and be there. Kepler, <laughs> on the other hand, literally leaves the room. He just doesn't he, he'll like... He'll go under the bed. I found him underneath the sheets, and, like, we make the bed, and he gets up underneath the sheets still and, like, hides there. He just doesn't... When we start cooking at all, he's he's much more susceptible to smells than Sagan was. Yeah. By a lot. Because um there'll be things that, you know, if the cats are like, Oh, I'm curious what that is what that is, and you hold it out and let them sniff it, mm -hmm. Sagan would smell it and be like, Okay. Kepler, like from recoils five feet away, yeah. he starts squinting and recoiling, mm -hmm. and I'm like, Okay, buddy, well, you don't have to sniff this. <laughs> and as a result, like, when there's certain sounds in the kitchen now, Sizzling on the stove. Sizzling or anything. Mm -hmm. He just associates that with bad smells, and he just leaves the room. And sometimes he'll come upstairs, because um, that's another weird thing, is that now that Sagan is gone, I could never trust Sagan up here. Because Sagan would start jumping on stuff and getting into stuff. He liked to be on the printer, and there's like a fold-down <sighs> flap for paper, and he would stand on it. I could never trust Sagan being in here by himself, and I, anytime I left the room, I'd always close the door. I don't have to keep the door closed anymore. Um, so Kep, Kep doesn't bother anything, and Kep will just come upstairs on his own and relax on the couch. So, so there's sometimes now that we're cooking in the kitchen, and Kep will just come upstairs and... Get away from it. Get away from mm -hmm. it. And then when we're done cooking, I'll call him. And he'll come out. Yeah. And he'll come back. I'll say, hey bud, we're done cooking. Come back. And then he'll come down the stairs and be like, oh, okay. And then we'll sit on the couch and eat, and he'll lay on our laps, so... Differences. Yeah. Is Kepler a tonk? <laughs> Sagan was much more... Sagan was much more active, much more reminded me of a dog. Sagan fetched. Sagan fetched, Sagan played. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm starting they to get... They both did tricks. Yeah. I'm starting to get Kepler to play a little bit more. He's still averse to the entire idea. Yeah. And it's not anywhere close to how Sagan played, because Sagan, like, just would go crazy. But, you know, he's he's doing a little bit more than he ever did, so. Mostly sleeping in your lap. Yeah, he's still a cuddle bug. Mm -hmm. He's a good boy. Anyway, <laughs> sli slight deviation from what I was talking about, but that's all right. 300 bits from Ping uh, Buddha Pong, who says, Morning, folks. Sleeping schedule's all screwy from that overtime at Amazon. So much toilet paper and diapers. But hey, I can finally catch breakfast stream. Tuesday was my first time catching live, so I had to sub. Oh, well, thank you. And, um, get, get sleep. You're a hero for... You're a hero. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, we were talking about it, I think, on Tuesday. But, like, there are so many jobs right now that... Are they've literally become the most important jobs in the world? Like healthcare, obviously, sure, but then uh, people that are doing Amazon, people that are doing grocery stores, uh, delivery drivers, uh, like all of these things, are suddenly become like the most important jobs mm -hmm. in the entire world. Literally keeping the fabric of society held together. Yeah. So, thank you, thank you for that. And there's so many people that need toilet paper and diapers. Yeah. And there's arguably people that are taking more toilet paper than they need. <laughs> but again, that is going to level out at some point when their garages are full. <laughs> and, and they're like, wait, hold on. 
then it will it'll it'll slow down. It'll slow down. Toilet paper's still apparently hard to come by here. Yeah. We haven't been out in a week, but uh, my parents have been out and they they've they here? still can't find toilet paper. I don't think they've managed to buy any. They I don't think so. They've been to you know quite a few different places. Uh, and they still have not been able to find some. What are you doing? They have, and they have some at home. It's not like they're out. Um, it's not like their sock drawer is empty. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, there is always that 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 sensation of like, well, this has got to stop at some point because yeah. we are going to run out <laughs> someday. Oh, Brandon. oh Brandon! Brandon says we can't find any. We have one roll for seven people. It sucks. Oh God. <sighs> oh man, Elizabeth said we had uh, a guy buy 15 packs of toilet paper yesterday. <clears throat> Charlotte? Yeah, is that? I, th I, I believe she's in Charlotte. Yeah. Um, that's terrible. <laughs> and like, there's always a part of me that wants to assume the good in people. Like, maybe they have a lot of people at home, but like, there's just no way. There's just no way. It's it's someone that's taking advantage of the situation. And I can understand that to some extent they're like, oh, I haven't seen it. Now that I've seen it, I gotta buy as much as I can, but that's not the way to do it. Mm -hmm. I know that some, some stores are putting like security guards at toilet paper. And like, it's not a bad idea. Or just have a, have a limited checkout. So if someone comes up to the checkout and it's like, you know, Ma'am, we can only do one thing. Yeah. One thing per household or whatever. God. Anyway, we're going to go out today, so uh, we'll let you know what we find. Um, we're set on toilet paper. We have toilet paper here. Like, we really don't use that much. You would assume that me, that we'd be going through it like crazy, but actually I'm... Uh, I'm very particular about the amount of squares. Uh, yeah, I'm in Charlotte. CVS is not limiting people on what they can buy. Mm. Uh, Chaz warning me to stop before I say too much. Sure. Uh, Ice Chogobo gives two subs. One to JRODR16 and one to MBent2900. Ice Chogobo, thank you. Got 250 bits from Joe Gimo. Appreciate that, Joe. 300 bits from Murmur says, just got great news. I am now a certified EMT. Congratulations. Congratulations. That is awesome. Very, very good news. Wonderful. I'm, I, I always love it when people share good news. Like, obviously, when, when people are looking for good vibes for interviews or et cetera, mm -hmm. like, that's, I also love people to share that information, but especially when, like, things are going right. When things are going right, we will celebrate with you. When things are going wrong, we will... Um, commiserate? Commiserate with yeah. you. It's just... The internet's a great place. There's, there's a lot... <laughs> there's a lot of bad on the internet. But it's nice to consolidate some level of the good of the internet together. And that, yeah. makes, that makes me really, really happy. Me too. Uh, I got two month resub from, from Utopia. Hey, Steven, long time lurker here since the Fobbies are born days. Wishing you two the best always. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I was thinking about that the other day, actually. Um, I don't know if it was a dream or a daydream, but I was thinking about like a real life version of me and Chaz fishing. And you I, would not go fishing. I, I wouldn't go fishing, but I would. I, I don't know if Chaz would. I wouldn't go fishing. Like to actually do the fishing part because I don't really want to do the fishing part. But but to, for a sit on a boat. But for like a video, oh. for a vi for to make like a funny video. Again, I love coming up with with videos that appeal to to fifteen people, and no one what else. What you need is Chess should have been quarantined with us so he could just be on your case about getting stuff done. <laughs> Honestly, Coffee. probably. Chess, what if I no? Hey, hey, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Vlogs are caught up. I'm I'm getting quite ahead in Steven Place. And I've been working on old stuff. I'm doing alright. Chaz can't say nothing about me. Yeah, he can. No, he can't. 
can so. But I am also coming up with great ideas that appeal to 15 people. Colin says I'm definitely one of those <laughs> What did Chess do to deserve that punishment? <laughs> oh. <laughs> if you want to get on a boat dressed as a little southern girl with me and make a skit, we can do it. Just get a wig with the ringlets. <laughs> I'm so excited to be fishing with you here today. Oh, my voice is deeper than it was <laughs> 10 years ago. 10 years ago? Oh, no, it's been longer than that. That was 2007. Oh, that was 13 years ago. <laughs> Time to move says on. I want to direct this. Please. Time to move on. 13 years? 13 <laughs> years? Hold, hold on. I need a moment. It's your birthday tomorrow. <laughs> Mallory, please. Oh, my God. Bobby's Reborn was 13 years ago. Okay. I mean, it technically started in like August or September, so it's like 12 and a half, but still, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right, moving on. Uh, 100 bits from Ages 10. Appreciate it. Thank you. 300 bits from Satsu says, On a deserted island, nobody can hear you scream, but at least it's a step up on the social distancing thing. We got to look at the positives, the silver linings. Social distancing is easiest when you're on a tiny island with uh, animals. Hotex Page gives a sub to Pig Latin, which was uh, which was from earlier whenever I was reading some of the gift subs. Yeah, and had trouble. And some of them were very, very hard. Uh, 12 month resub, one year from Ice Chocobo. One year subbed. It feels like y'all are time travelers bouncing around the 10 years of vlogs during self quarantining. Please don't go crazy during all the COVID-19 craziness. I have to move out of my dorm soon, so I might. Well, be careful. Um, I hope you hold on to your sanity. I hope everyone does throughout all of this. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> if people are enjoying all of the old vlogs, um, have fun with them. It's, it's hard for me to believe that there's been 10 years of vlogs already. And actually, I guess now, since it's what, uh, it's November? Yeah, we're at basically ten and a half. Pushing forward. Pushing forward. We've got so much. So, so much. Good morning, Donna. Donna! Hey, Donna. Good to see you. Yeah, we're, uh... <laughs> we're so old. <laughs> we're so old and we've been doing this so long. <sighs> Uh, we got 300 bits from Jam, who says, Just wanted to add cheers and celebration for the work you are doing and have subtly implied uh, is occurring, but which shall not be named, as well as a certain continuation, which I forget if it was on the vlog yet, but really excited to see that water associated additional content. Big hype. Have a great couple hours left until Animal Crossing Zero Hour. <laughs> I'm excited about Animal Crossing. I'm excited about... Um, I'm excited about a lot of things. Uh, but, you know, just being, just being ahead on stuff. Yeah. You know, just feeling like, nice. it's feeling like I have things under control. Yeah. Right now, my biggest hurt is for Mal, who is still Behind ca playing catch, work. playing yeah. catch up. Um, yeah. things get better after today because, yeah. you know, the pe as a reminder, the piece that Mal's working on is yeah. the February The painting piece. I just finished. The painting yesterday. she finished mm -hmm. yesterday is February's painting mm -hmm. is the one that's supposed to come out at the end of February. So like, yeah, play, playing catch up. Yeah, but you're getting there. Yeah, it's a good piece. Yeah, can we can we announce? Can we can we spoil what game it's from? If you want to, because the painting will be out on Saturday. Yeah, it might give away completely. Yeah, that would uh, give away completely. Yeah. Okay. Well then, what if I just say What what if I say that that that, that it's has a blue sky. Oh. Oh. There you go. There you go. There you go. <sighs> now everyone's all set on it. Hotex page gives a sub to Uncle Tom Nook. Does your uncle also put you in debt? <laughs> it's a weird, weird family relationship. 
18 months from Gentleman Jolt. I fear that with my classes moving to online, my two semester long streak of catching every breakfast stream may end. Or maybe I can use this to get up at a reasonable hour regardless of school. Kippy. Big think. Big think. I'm imagining that at some point people will have online classes at the same time breakfast stream is, and they'll just have two windows open. <laughs> It's important to learn. If you do that, keep us muted. Learn. <laughs> learn from your classes. 378 uh, bits from Mr. Gameboy18. Okay, just clearing out some bits, setting up for a sing at some point. Okay, gotta go to a meeting. Peace. <laughs> Peace. Thank you, Mr. Gameboy. Appreciate it. Uh, seven month resub from CuryCat CDXX. Hi, Stephen Mao. Love your content, and it's keeping me sane during the craziness. Just started working from home yesterday. It's an adjustment. Um, quick tips. Quick tips. Uh, working from home tips. Quick working from home tips. And I say quick because I'm only going to give just a few. Um, try and stick to a schedule. Make a schedule. Make a schedule would yeah. help actually a lot. Um, even if it's just bulleted like at this time I'll do this, at this time I'll do this. Put breaks in there. Yeah. <laughs> even if it's Put like a 20 minute like okay between you know, 9 and 9.20, I have a break. Yeah. And as Renee says, have tea time. That's what we do. Yeah. That's uh, one of our breaks. One of our breaks is a uh, 3.30. Uh, 3.30 to 4. 3.30 to 4 tea time. Mm -hmm. Highly recommended. Um, just wherever it fits. Uh, get dressed. That helps a lot. Um, yeah. I, I think it's harder to get up and be in pajamas and work. Um, I also just don't wear pajamas. So I just get, get up. ready. I prefer to put on clothes. Even if I was just chilling at home myself, I would put on like clothes. Uh, and then, if you can, work in a like if you have a guest room or something. Like have it have a work room. Um, definitely mm -hmm. don't work in your bedroom. I think that would be awful. For me personally, don't work in your living room either because there's a this and this might not be this not this might not matter as much to people that are just suddenly working at home and they yeah. won't be working at home forever. For me, I had my work and my non-work in the same room for a long time when we lived in the apartment, and that was really bad mentally for me for years. Fun. Um, it may not matter if people are just working at home temporarily. Yeah, I mean, I would also suggest maybe trying to set up a station. So, like, when you get there, it's, if you can't, like, yeah. have a separate room, like, okay, this is, I'm yeah. at my workstation, I need to work. Yeah, and I mean, there's probably people that they can chill on the couch with a laptop and mm -hmm. they can work. If you can, props to you. Um, I feel like it would be harder to focus. Uh, so if you have a desk or just sitting at a table or something, mm -hmm. that might be a, a good thing to try, too. Or at the snack bar in the kitchen. Basically, you have to treat it like it is work. Yeah. Um, because that puts your your brain in the mindset of, I'm working. Um, also, for everyone who's suddenly working at home, congratulations, now you know the joy of having your own personal toilet. That's right, no more office toilet. And also, it's the toilet that always accompanies your butt anyway. It's a great experience. There's really nothing like having your own toilet. <laughs> Executive bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> it's... I'm just saying, if you if you have to use the bathroom, wouldn't you want to use the one at your home? <laughs> Thomas says, but no free toilet paper. <laughs> isn't 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 that really the 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 problems that we're facing today, where suddenly people are working from home and get to experience using their own bathroom, but they have no toilet paper to do so. God. 18 month reset from Toad Link Six. Morning, you two. It was my birthday four days ago. Happy belated. A lot of people having birthdays this week. And uh, congrats on one plus. Uh, we get 100 bits from Gamers00700. Appreciate that. 300 bits from uh, Goldmage162. And here I thought, based on Kirby Star Allies, that Mal didn't like milk. Uh, unless it's chocolate. Every so often I want milk. It's like, once a year I'm like, man, I could use a glass of milk. Once a year? Yeah. So you're set for... Yeah, I'm set for a long time now. Okay. No, no more 2020 milk? That was probably too much milk. Oh, it definitely was. But there was milk that was going to go bad, and I'm like, I ain't going to drink this. I don't drink milk. If so we had Oreos, I would drink it. <sighs> anyway, speaking of which, how's it feel 
all the time when people bring you things you barely remember that you said in LP episodes <laughs> long ago. So that that's such a problem for me. Um, it's real, like, at least on the internet, I can try and figure it out. Yeah. Like, if, if I see something and someone references something, I can try and figure it out. The hardest part was always when we did meetups at conventions and people would, would say something to me. And, you know, I would I would just kind of like, it'd be like a blank stare and they'd be like, don't you remember when you said this? And I'm like, no, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> You've be been making content online for... I've been making content online yeah. since 2003, Three, yeah. like 17 years. Like it, and I've been doing YouTube stuff, obviously so much of it for such a long time that I, I and, and that would already be hard enough. Yeah. And then also my, I have such bad memory. Like people don't understand how bad it is. It's really not good. So those things combined is like, you know, people are like, you remember that? And I'm like, nope. I'm so sorry. I do not remember that. <laughs> it's one of the reasons why, um, you know, I, I try not to put too much time between doing, like, the D for example, like the DLC. You know. <laughs> Noah says, don't you remember on October 8th, 2014, when you ate a ham sandwich? Actually, no. <laughs> Actually, that was a great ham sandwich. Uh, we also got a sub from Gamers007000. Appreciate that. <coughs> now getting her sneezes out. Oh. Like, uh, Tazon Day. I lean away from the mic to sneeze. 300 Bits from Shy says, Learn to teach online. Like, professors don't just talk a bland lesson into a camera. Sorry, years of attending a technical college left me with a certain level of resentment. Also, I lied. I will never leave. <laughs> so I can't say welcome back, because you've been here the whole time. It's all been a secret. Appreciate it, Shy. Thank you. Uh, we get 100 bits from Item Crafting Live, as well as 100 bits from uh, Jorge Ray. Thank you both. Item Crafting Live also gives a sub to Team Mug Celeste. Oh, T Mug, mug. not Team Mug. I hope everyone's on Team Mug this morning. Yeah. Team Mug. Uh, 300 bits from Akira Dre, who says, uh, I work in a Kroger in Ohio, and it's been real fun. I'm only here today since my six and a half month old had oh. a fever that only broke as the stream started. Well, I'm, I'm glad that the fever broke. Yeah. Uh, but that's not fun. Mm -hmm. That's certainly not fun. Uh, well wishes to your little one as, as quickly as possible. Uh, we got 13 months from Sassy Dragon 631. Oh man, I missed my 12 month sub anniversary. Well, 13 months is still a new month. I hope you have a great day. Hey, belated clap for hitting, uh, for hitting a whole year. Thank you, Sassy. Uh, five months from Puttykins. Hello from Kentucky. Stay healthy. Will do. You Me as too. well. Everyone be careful out there. Uh, I got 100 bits from Prince. Prince, thank you. Hotex page gives us up to toilet paper. <laughs> Where are you? Where are you hiding? When will people stop buying you en masse? Nine months from Summerbank91. <laughs> Message only says Twitch, Twitch baby. baby. I think the fact that the, the stream went longer than most is just yeah. representative of the fact that we've got more people here than usual. Um, I think we had hit, I think we were up to 600 something actually a yeah, little bit earlier. We um, a lot of people here, students out of school, uh, people out of work, um, people working from home. So we've got a lot of people that are tuning in. But again, trying to entertain, keep people's spirits up. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a hard time for everyone. And um, just, Again, try and remember that things will return to normal. Mm -hmm. It may take some time. Um, and in the meantime, we're all in this together. And again, literally all, no matter who you talk to in the world, is dealing with this. And um, it's, a, it's a wild sense of camaraderie and solidarity that you don't generally get to experience. So uh, that's something. <laughs> Anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and end it there. As a reminder, uh, tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern, join us back here again. We'll be playing... Uh, Animal Crossing! <laughs> we'll be playing Animal Crossing. Mal will be playing Animal Crossing at midnight. Yeah. Because I know that she is super, super, super excited. Um, 
So Animal Crossing comes out at midnight. Hope everyone enjoys it. I will be experiencing it live for the first time tomorrow night at 8 p.m. So, uh, yeah. The wait, the wait is almost over, folks. The mate, the, the, the mate. The mate is almost wover. Also, I saw Chaz posted our sumo stats. Oh? Chaz is still winning. <laughs> Lindsay and I are tied for second. Runaway victory. I know. Gracious. Gracious. Uh, two months reset from Kid Venicus, who says, so excited to see you both are in good spirits. I mean, we're just doing our best. Yeah. Same as, as anyone else. Um, we feel fortunate that we can continue to work from home. I mean, that's been helpful. Uh, Kepi has kept our spirits high, too, because he just wants to cuddle and everything. So that's, that's been nice. Um, but again, today's the first day out in a week, and we're going to jump out and figure out what's going just down. Just get some essentials and get home. Yeah. 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 Should be fun. Uh, oh, another gift sub here. Hojax Page gift sub to Animal Crossing Village. Everyone will make a little village. Or an island. That's really, really an island. Anyway, well, all right. you take the island and make it a village. Yeah, you do. Mm -hmm. We watched the little direct finally, so. Yeah. It's interesting how they will We'll see what happens. Yeah. We'll see what happens. All right, folks. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Again, tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern, is Animal Crossing. Uh, nothing else really to announce. I don't think so. My video will be out Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a good one. It's a good one. That is the wrong screen. I meant to do post screen. <laughs> there we go. Uh, <laughs> see you guys tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern, for more stream. Can't say breakfast stream, because it's not breakfast stream. 